What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Yes, the return. And yes, it's our birthday marathon, day one. And yeah, we just won another badge right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Let's look at this uh, little bad boy right here. Look at that. Six badges. And yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to shine it. Busy doing something. I think I was drinking water or something. I don't even know. But anywho. We kind of need to go straight to the library because, well, not because Barry told us to, but it's it's a must. It's it, it's a must. And, uh, well, I guess this is where the legends unfold, I guess. I don't even know. It's probably going to be on the title right here. So, here we are in the library. And, uh, let's see. There's really nothing that we can do right here except just look for something. Somebody. And, uh, books. Okay, yeah. And that's getting annoying, so I'm going to take this one off. Let's go straight to Professor Rowan. And, well, there's Barry. Hey, Draven! Over here, this way. He really does look like a fake Ace Ventura. Okay, Gramps. I th I brought Draven like I said. And now I'm out of here. Um, dot, dot, dot. Okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah, you think you're funny. Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. That makes them different from each other. Or what makes them uh, f uh, different from each other? Do immature ones evolve into the ones that are more mature? If so, what do they make or, or what do we make of legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we uh, to assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures? This is where you or the this is where you three come in. There is said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you uh, on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I don't get a Pokedex, or I didn't get a Pokedex, and who has it, or wait, 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 and who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give uh, give them one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you to becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me. It will help with my Pokedex, too. Draven, you'll go, too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go uh, regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Fortuit uh, fortuitously, that's a big word that I never use. There are three of you. You should split up and inv investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Variety. Will do. Barry, uh, go investigate Lake Acuity. That would uh, that would take you to, uh, almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Not really tough. He just needs you out of the way for just like a long time. Uh, yeah. Of course, Gramps. You know how to call it. You can tell I'm uh, the hotness. Oh, wow. And that leaves Draven. Go to Lake Valor. The lake is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. And from there, there is a big bang. Ha wait, wait, wait. Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside and be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Okay, well. Yeah, there's a big bang. Draven, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. Alright, uh, yeah. We need to check this out. We really need to see what this Hobla is all about right here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it has a... Uh, pretty sure it's not a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a... Whatchamacallit, an earthquake, but it's probably a bomb. Something, I don't even know. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Whoa, that tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. And here comes a sailor, and he's like, Hey, old dude, kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. Okay. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, that Barry can't sit still. Draven, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect the lake variety. You'll be okay, won't you, Draven? Whatever you, can, or whatever you say, baby. 
Okay, so, uh, Lake Variety it is. Let's go right ahead and, uh, well, actually, we, I'm thinking of a Pokemon uh, sword right here. So let's go ahead and use one of these HMs right here. And there's the flag. Let's go right ahead and fly over there, I think. Nope, we can't fly over there. Let's go to Veilstone City. Okay, alrighty. Veilstone City, how's it going? It has been a hot minute. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, figure out this whole mess. So there's a big old bomb. I think we stopped somebody with a bomb, right? Right? I think so, yes. And let's get out of here. And, uh, well, it's been a while since I've seen Route 2 214. But now that we got the serve technique, let's go right ahead and see what, uh, you know, some of these pawns have. And I'm kind of hoping that they're... Oh, look at that. It's an item. Let's go ahead and grab it. We found ourselves another rare candy. This is good. Okay, great. Fantastic. Gotta love those rare candies. And let us move on. And uh, let's see. Gotta stay away from the Pokemon. We've already defeated all these trainers. And... Well, let's see. Right here, right here. And go all the way down. And go down here. And look at this. Okay, so we, we, we we're skipping all the, the Pokemon right here. And here we are in the Val Lakefront. And what's going to happen right now is... We need to get some repels because, uh, yeah. We don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. Alright. Small repel. Let's go. Let's get it. Maximum power. Maximum effort. And, well, it, the lakefront is open. Go in here and guess what happens. We are in Lake Valor. And, uh, wow. It looks like a mess. Look, the fire there. It looks like hell has just came over. And, uh, well, let's see. It has been a while since we've actually used a specific Pokemon. I think it's time to use her. Yes, Rosemon. And, uh, hey, battle me. <laughs> Next stop, Lake Variety. The closest thing to civilization out there is that hick town Twinleaf. We could roll in in there and completely unopposed. Uh, okay. I know for a fact that you didn't say hick town. Because I'm from there, and wow, look at these Magikarp. Holy crud. They, 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 they're not going to be skipping for a while. Yeah, it's weekly flopping about. Okay. All right, so, let's see. No more repels. We're not going to get attacked by any Pokemon right here. And, yes, we need to battle these trainers right here. So, let's go right ahead and battle a trainer. Anywho, guys, our birthday marathon continues day one with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, so, we're back in Brilliant Diamond. Will I be finishing this walkthrough? Yes, I will, guys. Um, I think I mentioned this quite a few episodes ago, yes. Um, so the month of July is going to be very, very open for me in, in a sense of my schedule. I'm doing great, you know, I'm doing great at my regular job. But I'm talking about the coaching aspect, the whole football thing, and well... We are actually mandated to do at least two weeks of break. We are on our first one, which would be, you know, a, a holiday break. The next one is going to be the week, well, the week of, well, uh, the week after my birthday and all that crud. So, like I said, it, it's going to give me enough time to actually stock up on some episodes and all that stuff too, guys. Um, I've been thinking about playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond again. For quite some time so wherever I land in, in, in this marathon right here uh, I'm pretty darn sure we're gonna be getting close to the very end to the Pokemon League and all that stuff uh, after game all that stuff it's gonna well we're gonna have to do a, a whole lot on the after game and what the heck what the heck's going on here oh wow okay so even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp worthless all of them okay you do realize that they evolve into ah eh, yeah they, they they don't realize that okay so let's see uh do you have something magikarp and eh, no okay i'm pretty sure one of these magikarp has something anything a stick of gum something i don't know but yeah like i was saying guys uh yeah I'll, i'm going to be stocking up on some episodes right here um i did feel pretty like i did feel pretty incomplete after, you know, after restarting the whole thing, going back to Pokemon Yellow and all that stuff. Uh, one of the things that I, I was just, like, kind of beating myself up on was that maybe I should have finished Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, but that, that was just my choice. Many of you guys already know, I'm the type of person that, you know, I go back and forth with the decision making and all that crud. Right now, 
right now we are, you know, right now what I'm doing right here for you guys is I'm giving you a another marathon on a, it's been a tradition since the start of my, uh, you know, my career here on YouTube. And uh, I honestly, this was just, this just came by mistake or I don't know, this just came out of a random thought because didn't really know what to do this year, 2022 guys, uh, in, in, in when it came to a marathon. And I guess one night before I went to sleep, I saw a few of my episodes here and there on Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and all that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I haven't even touched my game console since I made the Switch. I, I, I It wouldn't hurt. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to actually continue on and finish this whole thing since I actually, you know, uh, downloaded my, my, uh, my videos, put in my new intro and outro. It, it wouldn't hurt. And, well, I was like, okay, so that's one. I wonder what tomorrow is going to bring. Because, uh, yeah, I'm in a giving mood right now. My birthday, you, my birthday is usually about a giving mood and all that crud. So, let's see. Taking on another Team Galactica person right here. You got to love this guy. Got to love this guy right here. Okay, so, here we go. Bullhead right here coming out with a Krogunk. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm usually in a giving mood when it comes to, you know, my my, my walkthroughs and mom on birthday and all that crud. And yeah, you know, I kind of have unfinished business to take care of. So yeah, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be doing from here on is a lot of unfinished business and stuff. Get them done and move on to the next thing. Um, let's see. We got Pokemon Scarlet and violet in the horizon here too guys so i kind of want to like kind of want to get this done kind of want to get pokemon sword done that way you know it makes room for you know pokemon uh, scarlet and uh, violet and well yeah i'm not going to be doing i'm not going to be doing it like i did in pokemon sword and shield where i'm playing two games at once i'm just it, it it's just too much work why do that might as well just uh, do one or the other. So, eventually, when we get close to Pokemon Scarlet and Ruby, or Scarlet and Violet, uh, I'm going to post it up on my community page. Vote on the game you want to see right here onto my channel. If you want to put a comment down there, you know, I'll probably remember it and all that stuff. So, here we go. Flamethrower. For the win. There we go. Super Saiyan hair. Eat it, Dust Ox. Mm-hmm. Yes. The onslaught continues, and well, it's really nice to see these Pokemon just grow levels in crud. And look at that, Dust Tox has been defeated, and finally, Pennywise grows to level 40. Monfernomon or Infernomon gets to level 47, and well, this guy's gonna be coming out with a Beautifly. So let's just continue it right here. Beautifly, looking like Beautifly, and well, let's go straight for a flamethrower attack right here, and just like that. Beautifly has been defeated. Man, I, I can't believe Team Galactic is actually using Beautifly. Holy crud. And look at that. Hydra grows to level 41. Defeated. Yes, you are defeated, my friend. I feel incredible right now. Okay, so let us move on. And, well, there is the entrance to the cave. But look at this. Like, I kind of feel like you could find an item right here. You know what? I do have... Hold on. I do have this. Let's see. Crap baskets. Uh, let's see. Can I, no, I can't press that button. How about this? How about that? How about this? How about that? How about this? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is one of my... Okay, we can't really do my... Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to change this. Uh, let's see. Obtained Pokemon. Yes, those are the Pokemon I obtained. Holy crud. Okay. Yeah, you find out a lot of stuff here, guys. I mean, like I said, it's been five months since I've actually played this game. Never touched it since I actually made the Switch, so it should be something. And I'm actually glad that I didn't do anything else. And, well, here we are in the Valor Cave, or the Cavern. Normally, you would find a Legendary Pokemon, but unfortunately, they've taken the Legendary Pokemon. So I'm going to go straight to Toothless, because this looks like a job for Toothless. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Oh wow, he looks like the devil, the blue devil. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna City. 
Jupiter should have be, should be ashamed of herself for uh, being beaten by a child like that. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of the opposition will not be tolerated. Wow. Okay. Alrighty. So here we have this guy right here, Devil Horn Commander Saturn, and well, he's gonna be coming out with his Kadabra right here. Hmm. Okay, Kadabra. You think you're strong, huh? Well, take a look at this. Toothless is about to destroy you. Let's go for a bite attack right here, and well, yeah, Kadabra does have that speed, so yeah, we gotta we gotta worry about that. And luckily for it, it it came out with a reflect, so it cuts our attack in half. And well, let's go ahead and uh, get hit by a psychic attack. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. That was hard. Okay, finish him, and it almost does crud. Okay, so we kind of messed up right here. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a Pokemon it will not affect. Uh, you know what? Um, you know what? Let's go to Hydra. Hydra will actually do the job right here. Okay. Let's go. Your opponent is weak. Here's Hydra and, well, the inner focus has not lowered anything. And here comes a Psychic Attack. You know... That gets annoying real quickly. So here we go. Let's go straight for a crunch attack. And wait, Rain Dance? Seriously? You're gonna enable me to destroy you. Oh man, you just messed up. You messed up! And there we go. Crunch attack for the win. Do not know why you uh, did that Rain Dance, but again, you messed up. You messed up good, sir. And well. Here's a Shell Bell heal, a heal ability, and well, let's see, more experience points. Toothless has grown to level 39, and here comes a Bronzor. Hmm. Okay, so I, I see where I see where that 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 went wrong, but screw it. We're gonna go with Hydra, and let's go straight for a Crunch attack. Now I get Bulldoze is super effective. But I believe Bronzor is kind of, maybe, kind of, uh, yeah, he's kind of floating. So that, that probably wouldn't work. So, let's see. Confuse Ray. Wow, these guys are getting, uh, yeah, these guys are getting very strategic magic. Okay, so that's that. The Reflect has worn off. Okay. Let's go with a Crunch Attack. Now that our power's not cut in half. And here we go. Crunch Attack for the win. Eat it, Bronzor. That's right. How does it feel to fail? Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And just like that, we get more more healing. That's right, and experience points. And Rosemon has grown to level 44, which is great. And here comes a Toxic Croak. Yeah, we're gonna destroy you, Toxic Croak. Yeah, you don't scare me with that big old metal finger of doom. So, let's go straight for a Hydro Pump. Come on, don't be confused. Finish him! And, uh, okay, so I see, I see what you did there, and I do not like it. Okay, try a scan, uh, that, that makes sense, okay, so, yes, because of our power, or the power of love, we are not poisoned anymore, so eat this bulldoze of doom, and there we go, bulldoze, finish him. Well, it lowers his speed just a little bit, but I do believe this rain will heal up his Pokemon. Because it has dry skin and all that stuff, so... Here we go, we're getting healed. And... Uh, Toxic Oak is going to be using another Toxic Attack. I don't think the Power of Love will work twice in a row. But it does prolong, or it doesn't prolong... What the heck? Okay, yeah, dry skin. I see what you did there. And yes, the Power of Love works again. So here we go, Bulldoze. Come on! Finish it! Damn it! Okay, so... It hurt us, uh, hurt, hurt ourselves with, with, uh, with, uh, confusion, and again, another toxic attack. Do you not realize the power of love will heal us all? And, yes, this dry skin is getting on my god dang nerves. And, well, the power of love won't work three times in a row, so, yeah, let's go right ahead and use a bulldoze. Come on! Bulldoze attack! That's right, eat it! Say goodbye, toxic croak. That's right. Okay, I'm getting a little too competitive. I get that, guys, but ugh. That gets on my nerves real quickly, and yes, we get experience points. Look at this. Yes. 
Okay, so Commander Sanderton has been defeated, and he's like, You, my friend, are tough. I see why you defy us so. Yeah, because, you know, it's part of the story arc and stuff. Gah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get it. The, get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an, enti an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon in, in Lake Variety. Okay, Lake Variety. Uh, yeah. So that's that's not good. That that that's not good. So yeah. Anywho, uh, we are still in Hell, and we have to go to Lake Variety. So yeah, we're gonna we, yeah we have to go all the way back home. So first is first, we're gonna go to Veilstone. And yeah, in the next episode, we need to go to Lake Variety because well, there's there's some stuff going on there. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and all that stuff. Make sure to hit the notification button if you guys you know want to keep on getting these uh, these walkthroughs and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna annoy you all day for the next four days and stuff. So my apologies, guys. Uh, if you guys want to make a, su a subscription, hit the subscription button, notifications button. And yes, if you guys want to make a donation to this channel, the link is in the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go to Lake Variety. See you guys.